and we're back. <laughs> um, as you know, uh, or as you've probably seen, I've already beaten the game, and uh, currently on this on this uh, on this occasion as well, I um, I, I've made this is my second character. I've get, got got a essentially completely different build. And as you can see, I'm basically right at the end of the game again. I uh, played through pretty much everything else, leveled some stuff up. Uh, the only, the only, the only real boss I haven't really killed is uh, Master Lagarius. I mean, I tried him a couple of times, and I still seem to just suck horrible shit when it comes to that fight. And I, I joined other people's worlds and helped them kill him. I think I helped a good three or four other people. But hey, I just, I, I can't beat him myself. So uh, here we are. We're right here. Can finish this anytime. We're not gonna do this right now though. Just, uh, this is a very nice area to roll around and talk into. It's nice, you know, pleasant. Sad, because lots of dead people as well, but, you know, it's nice. And, um, I, I, I've made this character, and, uh, there's a, there's a decent amount of shit that I missed in this game. Whereas, unlike Dark Souls 2, the, the game did not, um, it, 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 since it threw me into the new game, plus I actually didn't really get to look through most of this stuff, so. Um, I'm gonna go back and, uh, do some of it. There was the one item... In, uh, to just, just to give some more description, there was the one item in the unseen village where those crazy women were, where uh, you know right below them there was that like little cage with an item in there, and I saw it and I completely forgot about it. But um, turns out that was a key, and that key is um, you pick it up and it, that's like that's the key that opens the gate at the uh, the doors of the top of the uh, you know the cathedral ward. Um, workshop and I never got that I missed that whole area there's apparently two more bosses in there I uh, I have I don't know what they are I, I mean I, I know they're like names there's like a choir and like Ebritus or whatever and I haven't fought them but apparently it's a decent area and there's also some other stuff so I'm just gonna finish everything up that I missed on this guy essentially for the most part but I've already ran and gotten that key I just you know uh, I was like looking for anything that I may have missed so I ran and got that key and I'm uh, gonna try to do every every little side thing, so I get 100% completion on this. Also, um, this is my character, as you can see. We're gonna go stats here. Um, this is hard style. He's a male. He's a level 68. He's currently carrying a whole 30,000 blood echoes. He's got 20 inside as well. But uh, you know, other other than his dating profile, I mean, as you can see, his stats are: he has 26 vitality, 15 endurance. 10 strength, this guy's like not a very good strength build, and I focused him completely on skill, as you can see it's 50 skill, 7 blood tinge, and 10 arcane. And since I since 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 uh I didn't I didn't look up any of the uh, skill stuff when I was making this, or like you know, stat caps and all that, but the hard cap is at uh, 50 for skills and you know I tr I you know what put in like five extra points and it doesn't even give me anything at all. It's not even worth leveling it up at all past fifty, in my opinion. So um, I've started putting into a arcane, mainly because uh, these weapons I have right now, the main weapons I use on this guy are probably the cane and the blade of mercy. As you can see, I've like upgraded them like crazy, and this is like my current main weapon. I want to try to get to use these, get used to them, and uh, since they, st since these, since, blah, 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 blah. since the blade of mercy has a B scaling for arcane, which upgrades, I figured I'm gonna, I'm gonna make this like an arcane skill build. And uh, I'm gonna level up my arcane, you know, alongside to try and get these weapons even even stronger, and you know maybe I'll even use some spells. But yeah, that's my um, these are my stats for this guy, as you can see. You know, that's that's what I got going for me. Runes, uh, yeah, you can see them over there actually as well. So I don't need to show all those. You know, more echoes, max HP, this will attack for story HP, which is that's actually really helpful for PVE because uh, I started parrying a lot on this character as well. And I got used to using the gun. Since this is a purely dex build, I was mainly playing through the game with the cane and the gun, so I was, uh, I tried parrying a lot more enemies, and I can parry my way through most of the early game sections, and, you know, some other sections as well, too. And, uh, yeah, that's all of that. I don't know if I have enough to actually level up right now, so I'm gonna check and see. Uh, yes, I can, so I'll throw some arcane into this. Just, uh, you know, why not? I'm gonna commit to it. Whew. And let's go. One thing I never actually looked up is, is there's this thing here, and this is identical to like um, when you're going into uh, the 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 fuck, the the church district. What's it called? No, when you're when you're leaving the Odin tomb, going into the the healing church or whatever, you you when you go up that one ladder from like that sewer section, you come out of a thing that's identical to this. So I never actually looked up, right? So I don't actually know if um, 
if this actually leads anywhere, if this opens at any point in the game, but it, it, isn't, it is exactly identical to like the other one, so, I mean, you think it would open up and lead to a base, I mean, I, it may or may not, I don't know if it maybe connects to the Chalice Dungeon, when you, like, get to the end, it loops up here, that would be really, uh, that'd be really cool, you know, like, oh my god, mind about lowing a mechanic, like, some background info or some shit, but, um, yeah, maybe they'll put DLC here if it doesn't open, I don't know, but, uh, yeah, hopefully, I, hopefully something's in there. And also, um, I don't think anything happens if you kill this guy. I mean, I don't think you can actually use this dude for anything. I know he drops you a rune. I look that up, so we're just gonna kill him right here and now. Like, he just points there all the time. Yeah, so we're just gonna kill him. I don't think he's used for anything at all. He's just kind of a useless old guy. I mean, bye-bye, dude. I'll take your eye rune, though. Thanks, appreciate it. Not don't even feel guilty. I mean, huh. You never really helped me out at all, bro. It's funny, I like how in every ladder in this game, I think it's, I think every ladder in this game, I don't know, I don't want to like say something that's wrong. They actually like have lights, so it's like, you know what I mean, to make it more visible and like less, you're less likely to miss a ladder. They have like a, a light or a candle or a lantern or like something placed by every single ladder in the game. <laughs> on that same topic actually, I also, when you're in the, uh, on the same topic of these type things, there's, a, there's another one of these in the lecture building that I actually completely missed as well, I believe where you fight that one giant dude with fire fists. There's actually one of these in the corner that leads you down there. And um, um, I'm not, I hate to spoil it, but I actually, like I already spoiled it for myself. I know there's like that dude who you talk to through the door with like, you know, you can only see his face. When you get down there, his body's a spider. And I don't know what happens if you talk to him. Cause, uh, because, but I know you can kill him and I think he drops like a rune or something. I don't remember exactly what happens, but I already know his true form. So, uh, you know, I figure I just throw that out there, but yeah, it's like the same kind of little contraption there. So, I mean, I really, you know, if, if you, if you compare it, it makes it, it makes it seem like you can get down there, but that you just might not be able to. I never actually got the blood rock when I was in the annoying nightmare place. I never dropped down to grab it. Let's see, I rune. Make additional discoveries. More item from fallen enemies. Yeah, that's really useful. So we're gonna take uh, I rune. It's just more items. So I'm curious if that means you're more likely to get an item from a fallen enemy, or instead of getting two blood valves, I'm now going to get more and get three or four even. And I never actually know what this does. I just knew it. I just knew that's what it said. It was an additional discovery item. So that's uh, I'm very interested in how different this will make uh, that mechanic work. But yay. Got that item. Oh, also, another thing to note. Um, I never actually, I don't recall I actually going back. I never, uh, a, since I went to New Game Plus, I never went back to the first floor sick room and there was that, like, woman on the table and she was like, you know, I thought she was gonna transform into a beast. I went back and killed her on this one already and um, she drops this. I looked it up as well ahead of time. She drops one third of an umbilical cord. Apparently there's, I think, three, no, uh, apparently there's four of these in the game that are all spread out. And apparently there's a three secret, there's a three endings for this game, there's two, and there's a third secret one, where you have to consume three of these umbilical cords before, um, fighting, um, German, and then you get a different ending. I haven't seen the ending myself, I just saw that in, like, a comments on a video, so I was like, oh, that's really interesting. May as well gather all those up, see that ending for myself. I saved her on this run as well, too, um, that crazy lady in the Unseen Village where you get kidnapped to, apparently, like, uh, in order to save her, because I don't know, she's just so stupid, she doesn't talk to anyone. Um, in order to save her, you have to equip like a bunch of healing church, the set or something like that, and then she'll talk to you, which is I don't know, she's just really dumb. But hey, game, you know, it's whatever, it's a Souls game, so whatever, it's a game, so she's just she can be dumb, it makes sense, like it's it's loud, I suppose, but whatever. And then you can send her here, and uh, she'll give you like a gesture, and I took her blood and all that stuff. But then I had to kill her because apparently uh, she goes crazy and kills everybody else. So I uh, slaughter her here, and then she drops like a rune for you. Another thing is this is the this is this is the biggest one though that I kind of wish I would have uh, had on camera is uh, I save that crazy dude from you know uh, the Forbidden Woods or whatever. Sent him here. I didn't have anyone else here at the time yet though, and I uh, sent him here. I came here. He killed that dude. He killed the weird guy who. Uh, the weird dude who just wanted to help everybody over here. So when I got here, there was blood, and then there was, you know, a drop. Came out over here, and I was like, where the fuck is this guy? And then if you just come right out of here, he's like sits in front of the wagon. 
I was talking to him a bunch. He gives me like a beast pellet. He says he doesn't have any more. I don't know if he restocks them or not. After that, I just attacked him and he transformed into a fucking like a gigantic or not a gigantic about, I'm gonna say a beast about like maybe the size of this like whole, you know, um, wagon with the caskets and all that. And he's pretty fucking tough. He was pretty bad. Like he was fucking me up. So, uh, but uh, I remembered the poison thing, so I just tried poison knives. And uh, if you throw one poison knife at him, he just starts getting poisoned, and I just poisoned him to death. <laughs> the, the deep way. And then I forgot what he dropped. But I think it's like some rune too. He dropped like a beast rune. And yeah, that's a bunch of the optional shit I missed that I now did. So let's run down here and uh, kill this baby. <laughs> Slaughter infants. God, my gosh. Bloodborne, what are you encouraging here? It can't be. Hmm. This is a nightmare. Look at this little demonic thing. You can't even get like a close up of it. It's got, like some deformed ass face. Like, I'm just, it's so fucked up looking. I wish you could like look with the camera down at a lower level. And then she just cries for days. I do have the monocular equipped. I can't even tell if those are eyes. I like thought those three like flaps on his head were eyes, but I don't even know if this thing had does it even have eyes? I can't tell, it just looks, it's just so deformed. This could just be like, flaps on its face. <laughs> I, I, I love how fucked up looking this thing is. Oh my God, so gross. And then, I don't know, I don't recall if she does anything or not. I don't, I didn't read up that much. I just know that this drops in a bullet card if you kill it. Apparently she dies if you kill it though. I did not know that. See, there we go, one third of the umbilical cord. Oh yeah, what'd she drop for me? Ariana's shoes. Oh, there we go, I got I got her shoes. I can look fashionable. I can actually equip these. Shoes worn by Ariana, woman of the night in the cathedral ward. Innocent and cute in contrast with its owner. <laughs> oh, one of my notes is rated fine. That's always nice. So there we go, I have three thirds of the umbilical cord. Yay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And also, I um, I know that there is a uh, a cannon for a uh, secondary, like a you know a weapon that you can carry around. I read about it. I never actually saw it, but then I uh, went back to the unseen village in Yahargol or whatever, and I killed those three dudes, like the beast guy, when you know where the your original bonfire was, but then it gets destroyed. I killed those two guys off, and I was fighting the third guy, and then he. Um, Switched to like a one his one hand weapon and he just pulled out the cannon and completely one shot at me and I was just like oh well that's nice Amidala oh Amidala oh, okay I thought like what the hell I can't use the elevator what is this bullshit <laughs> I'm just stupid I don't really want to go up first I'm gonna go down because I want to try to get to this door. I mean, I got a fuck ton of flasks. I may as well do it now. I don't recall exactly where the said door is, though. I think it's like right there, right? Yeah, there it is. It actually looks kind of easy to get to. I mean, I just kind of got to run and jump to that. Good in turn be true. Could I fall straight down? I mean they covered it pretty well. Could I? Oh, I probably could even. No, I couldn't. I try I tried but I couldn't. <laughs> I tried. I did. <laughs> oh whoops. Oh Amidala. Oh Amidala. <laughs> I don't know why I love that so much. Okay, so falling straight down doesn't work. I mean, there is like a like a turn, like one of those things on the side it looks like, but if you have to slow walk all the way over to that, that's kind of a pain. You think I could just fall straight down, like to it? I mean, it let me fall all the way to the bottom. I don't know if that would instant kill me though. There we go, that works. Wait, is there a rope here? Can I climb up this? 
Oh, that would have been freaking amazing. You've come to the right place. There we go. That was easy. I didn't necessarily get my souls, though. I don't even know where they went or where they were. <laughs> I didn't. I wasn't paying enough attention. Probably just saying like a rate, a rate of the free at the top. This is a new territory, though. I never. It just takes you straight in. It does. The source of the dream. Abandoned old workshop. Oh, would you look at that? I know there's like a, a, an inactive doll here. I saw that. I, I saw um, when I was reading about like, you know, all the all places I mentioned on the wiki, there, it said that there was an NPC here and it's just like inactive doll. So I'm like, oh, I've, had not, I've had that like spoiled for me, but I don't know if there's what items, if there is any even here. Mm, there's no tombstones for the chalice dungeons. Is this just a chest? What is this? It's like a little tiny chest in place of the messengers. Oh, this is a tombstone here. Is this going to tell me who this was? Old Hunter Bone. Ooh, I'm really intrigued about this. I also, another thing that uh, I need to note is um, on this character, not my, not my main character, it never happened, but on this guy, when I came back to the dream one time, the doll wasn't actually standing in her original place or she wasn't even sitting over there. So I was like, what the fuck? Where's the doll? And then I went around, I was walking around like looking and then she was kneeling down right in front of this grave, like praying. So like, I don't know, who, like you couldn't read it. Like there's no legible text on there. So I don't know who she was mourning to or whatever, or who's buried here, but she never gave me any dialogue about it. She was just, and I talked to her here, but uh, let's find out who it is that is buried here. Is it German's bone? The art of quickening speeds up rolling and quick steps. Ah, the bone of an old hunter whose name is lost. It is said that he was an apprentice of old to old German and a practitioner of the art of quickening, a technique particular to the first hunters. It is most appropriate that hunters, carriers of the torch, who are sustained by the dream, would tease an old art from his remains. An apprentice to old German. Hmm, really? I'm curious who that was. I wonder if it's Lawrence, because they never confirmed what happened to him. This could be Lawrence's grave and he buried him here or something, because I don't know. I, I only say Lawrence because, I mean, in that cutscene after you fight Vicar or Amelia, there's that guy. I thought that was German originally, but I know now that it wasn't German. That is the... Uh, that was the bishop guy that you that I just recently killed in Bergenworth, and um, that was him talking to Lawrence. But since, but on that topic, when I talked to German over here, he's like, you know, sleep talking, you know, all sad about Lawrence. So I, I'm gonna assume that this is Lawrence until proven otherwise. Oh, there's the inactive doll. There's a lamp. See, here's the fourth one third of an umbilical cord. I'm actually curious. They, they all have different item descriptions, don't they? Or are they stacked? Yeah, see, look. Every one of them has different item descriptions. So this thing caused everything. Is that what it, that is that was that what that means? Did like it beckon the hunters, and this is what conceived the hunter's dream? Interesting. There's a lot of dead people here, so I'm not sure if I want to talk to her. Oh, doll. Oh, I can't wait. <laughs> oh, what's he doing? I gotta see. Joy. I don't know if these people are just trolling. Like, I don't, I don't know why there's like a mass trolling in this one location. This is all thanks to the darling. Or these people actually get killed by the doll. Look, is that the doll right here too? Right, we're gonna continue exploring. Or at least light this lamp at the very least. Because if I die, I don't wanna have to drop down here again. It's completely like empty. There's some item in here. Small hair ornament. I believe you can actually give that to a doll. I read that. I don't remember exactly what it does. I think she thanks you or something, or I don't know. I can't recall. But I believe you can give that to a doll in the Hunter's Dream. Nothing out here where this used to be. Alright. Huh. It's very cool. Oh, I'm gonna open the chest first before I inspect the doll. What is it? A doll set. Oh, okay, yeah, I remember now that you can get that. I forgot about it. The doll set. Ooh. The 
inspect an abandoned doll. How do these people die? Are they just trolling? Like for real? There's like, like why the fuck is there like seven blood stains or more just surrounding the doll? <laughs> Chop your head off! Fucking kill you, huh? Think you control me? You ain't control shit. All right. Well, I mean that's everything here. I'm gonna read that actually. Uh, Air piece. I did not read that. I'll read the doll set as well, since I can. Is it not in this set? I don't think it's a consumable, so it probably wouldn't be, right? Yeah. It's probably with, like, the keys. Yep. Small plain hair ornament. Small, very ordinary hair ornament. Although it has been lost for quite some time, one can still see signs of the care with which this tasteful ornament was once kept. Its color would stand out most brilliantly against a head of grayish hair. Ooh. Let's look at my doll set. Doll hat. A discarded doll's hat, likely a spare for dress up. A deep love for the doll can be surmised by the fine craftsmanship of this article and the care with which it was kept. It borderlines on mania and exudes a slight warmth. Mm. It borderlines with on mania. So does it make me go crazy? I mean, if I equip it, that is. This is just this is just creepy. <laughs> uh, I don't want to wear the doll set. Yes, we awaken. Take me back to the dream. Ridiculously long loading screen. Okay, that's cool. No big deal. Just take me back here. Fuck you too. Okay, we need to. Yep. All right. I wasted my time. <laughs>